meaning of Yaqeen according to the scholars? It's been said Yaqeen is equal to the death. There can be two types of the Yaqeen. One is Yaqeen in concept and another Yaqeen that when we become witness of something that is in the shuhud, the knowledge by bearing witness that when somebody realized and has seen with the eyes of his heart, his soul is being witnessed of uh, the completion of the life and he started another life. Yes, before that he was just having a concept that he may leave this world. Brothers and sisters, while we live in this world, although we have uh, received the message of God, yes, we read the verse of the Quran, prophets came to this world, I am Allah have preached that there will, be, there will be a day that we have to leave this world as a little many advised to his son, Imam Hassan al Mustafa As Imam says, Ya Buraya, Khulatna lil Fana, la lil Mata. O my son, we have been created to be vanished, not to live in this world. So Imam wants to give a certainty to his son. Although son is also an imam, an infallible prosperity, but still Imam al-Islam advises to his imam, to his son. That means it is important that everybody must be advised. We have to come out from these doubts. Sometimes we start thinking that really we are, we are going to face another world as well because of uh, all those preachings from outside, all those propagandas, mashallah. We may start thinking that uh, it's just fair. Maybe we will face the death, but after that it's nothing. This is just a world, as uh, I have said the other day, that one of the concepts according to Quran has been said that we live in this world and one day we die. And this death is one of the norms of this world. There's nothing else. There's nothing after the world. But there will be a day. Quran has said, Hatta yaqeen, that everybody will be witness of the message of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. Everybody will see with his own eyes that there is another world which is just starting. This was the shortest world. Now the real world is. And uh, according to Quran, Quran has not considered this world as a world. Quran has not considered this as a life world. As uh, when you look at Quran, it says that the real life is the other world. This world is not a life. But we consider that this is life. Let us do everything, whatever we can do, that we can establish this life. But on the day when we will leave this world, we will realize that real life is just starting. It's just beginning of a new life. We'll open the eyes and we'll look that there is nothing for us. Or some of those who will have something, they have reserved. That is why we have been asked that Today we have to see that we have what we have sent down to the other world. Brothers and sisters, that is not just one day. Some people they think that uh, that is just one day. And many people they, they uh, object, maybe they have to, they will start thinking what the what Quran say. That is of course just one day. Is it that correct? But I, I would say, no, it's not just one day. Death is every day. 
we are dying every day. So let me explain how. Every day, what is passing, it is past. Don't you say it is past? Today is past. Is it correct or not? Yes. You agree? Yes. You always use that. Today is past. If today is past, then one day of my life is already past. And that is the same meaning of death. So that means one day of my life is already died. I have given one day from my hands. So the second past, minute past, hours past, then day past. So that means daily we are losing. Daily we are dying. That's why Quran says, Wal Tango Nafsun Ma Kattaman Levadin. That everybody must look that what they have put forward, forward for them, what they have sent down for their next day. Quran, when it speaks about the day after the death, it does not say that Wal Tangur Nafsun Ma Kattamat Ba'd al It never used that. It says Ma Kattamat Lehadin. So that means tomorrow is our the day of death. Next day, or when we are going to die, that is our next day. That is the beginning of another life. Every next day is the beginning of a new life. So don't think that no rules is just one day. No rules is every day. Because every day when it comes, it is a new day. And when every day is a new day, every worship must be a new worship. You should repeat the worships. That is why Ibadat is not an Adat. Ibadat is Ibadat. Adat that means we become division. We have a habit. Some people they just complete their habit. But some other they really worship Allah. If they worship Allah Ta'ala, then worship itself has its condition. And one of the most important conditions after the worship is ikhlas. The purity of the intention. Pure intention is basis and foundation. And second, an important condition that Mawlana is present, our presence Presence of our mind, presence of our intention is another important condition. You know, when we start our prayer, what we say? We say, I am praying for Raka. Zohar, today, it's not saying just having intention. Zohar of today, for Badan in Allah. So that means. He wants to make himself present and he wants to intend this intention itself that means I started my prayer with full attention and that is another pillar of the prayer. It is one of the arkan of the prayer. It cannot be completed. On the day when we will leave this world and will open our eyes to the other world, at that time we will realize that we have lost many things. And today we have entered to another world. Only the worship will be beneficial on that day. Ibadat will be one of the most important things that is going to be beneficial in the other world. It is going to happen. So the sisters, when we look at the life of Ayyemar salam we can really understand what does worship mean? What does ibadat mean? The meaning of 